Ladies and gentlemen, in front of us right here in this big box, we have the Lindsay Home nine drawer dresser unit. Comes in a couple different colors. In the top link in the description box below the video will be this exact same dresser where you guys can read more about it. Pick one up yourself after the video is done. Without further ado, let's get this out. Let's see what we have. And you are gonna like this color. We are nicely packaged inside with all of our pieces. Instruction manual, drawers, nothing looks banged up. They actually have a really nice barricade on each side for packing purposes. It's like a fake piece of wood. Again, that's just for packing purposes for the edges. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and start piecing this together. If we do come across any tricky parts, I will let you know, or some tips I should say. And let's go ahead and follow along. Okay, the only building tip I have for you, uh, this happens twice when you're putting bracket on. Uh, this is number six, and I believe the other one is 12. They both look like this right here. So it tells you to put in A's around here first, but I would actually skip that step, drop down, and put in your M screws. And the reason I say that is with the Allen wrench, you can turn them all the way around without hitting the A bolts, and it just makes it a lot easier to screw in the M bolts, which are the biggest bolts. If it rotates around and hits this right here, this is what it's gonna look like, but shorter. Then you have to like go and do this, and you got quite a few of those. We're gonna have to do four, eight of those just on this particular one, not to mention the other ones we've already put on that one, which I believe was six. Don't quote me on that one, but that'll save you some time. Then of course, once you do have your bolts in, then of course go back and put in your A bolts here and here, and do that as you work your way down. And you won't need to do it on this one or this one because there's no small A bolt, but uh, there is an A bolt here and here. So the ends, it definitely gonna save you some minutes. Okay, folks, we are almost done and the dresser looks absolutely phenomenal. Great quality inside and outside. For prodigal board, just like Ikea, it's the same quality as Ikea with, with the top. I don't know if that's prodigal board or an OSB. I don't think it's completely solid like plywood or anything like that, but it's a little bit better quality, I believe. Don't quote me on that one. Forgive my dirty floor here, but everything is looking very smooth here with the pads again on the bottom. Everything is numbered correctly. We're gonna go ahead and put our drawers in now. Something to keep in mind, these need to go around the edge as well to go ahead and mount in your backing plates so it stays nice and secure. As we see here in the direction, so I still need to do that. And then it's up to you if you wanna do this or not. Using the clear edge corners right here, just remove the double-sided tape and go ahead and stick those on the corners just like this. If you have children, I'll leave that up to you. I'll probably skip that, but definitely save those for when I do have, God willing, children later down the road. And everything you use, pretty much everything. I'm pretty sure I screwed in every single bolt I needed to screw in. I have two remaining, but everything else you are gonna use 100%. The little wooden dowels, all your screws, so make sure you don't lose any of them, except for, again, I got two remainder. I might tip it over to see if the bottom is missing two. Pretty sure I put them all in. So make sure you don't lose those screws. Let's go ahead and put these drawers in, see what they look like. Okay, this is what the back looks like for some reason. If you have this displayed, not up against a wall, and it's just like in the middle, of let's say your master closet as kind of a island type of a dresser, then this is what the back would look like. So it looks really sharp. So you can have this as a nice island if you wanna do that. Okay, so you also do have, if you're putting it up against the wall and you do have children that it might knock over, definitely latch on the wall adapter that goes on the back here. It goes against your wall for anti-tipping. As far as that goes, you are gonna have a lot of rubbish, obviously because of all the styrofoam, but it was packed really well. Now, but overall looks really sharp as we can see the detail on the bottom here. Also recommend uh, using a power drill for some of the A bolts. It just makes it go a lot quicker. They do supply a screwdriver as well, which is interchangeable from Phillips to flathead. If I pulled that out and flipped it over, it'd be flathead, very nice. And let's go ahead and talk about the hardware. The hardware is very nice, good quality metal. 
Now, the only thing I will obviously let you know as well, just like some of the Ikea dressers, if they don't have that front glass panel, you don't have the weight. So it might feel a little bit flimsy. Not so much these drawers here, but these larger drawers. If you're used to a wood dresser, that's what I'm trying to describe. This of course is just like Ikea protocol board and I've had Ikea dressers that feel like this as well. The glass ones from Ikea have a little bit more heft to them, but I'm just letting you know that these larger drawers feel a little flimsy if they're empty. These ones feel a little bit smoother and a little bit more weight here. And the reason why is because this is solid protocol board and then this is a little bit thinner right through kind of the craftsman look here. So just note on that one as well. And then the hardware looks really nice. I think the ladies are gonna definitely like that one. And then the detail down here is really nice as well. Again, this is super sturdy. Set some nice decorations on the top, maybe some fake plants, etc. But overall, nice room in here in these top drawers here. And then all six of these drawers, of course, are the same. So you could have his and hers or ladies, you could take over the whole entire thing, but this is plenty of space. So what I'm probably gonna do with this is I'm gonna have this in my master closet. I'm gonna be doing an addition to my bedroom or I'll have this in a spare bedroom. I think this is gonna be great for guests or put it in my future office for camera equipment, etc. You can have tripods and camera lenses. Let's go ahead and take a side look here and sorry for the lighting. It's a little gloomy outside, it was raining so I have the house lights on above. And so again, very sharp on the sides the back and the front. So once again, top link in the description box below will be this exact same dresser. I chose this really nice color, which I think looks super sharp. Let's go ahead and get a better look at the color here. This is just the uh, camera flash here over here, that little uh, light you see over here, but very nice green looking prodigal board there. They do have other colors as well. I just thought this looked super sharp for my house and the remodel I'm doing. Obviously this is not a portion of the remodel, so definitely subscribe to the channel for that. But but again, top link in the description box below will be this same dresser and the other colors. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out as well, it helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more awesome videos. We'll see you on the next one. My name's Chris, take care for now. Don't let the party stop guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.